The ongoing torrential rains pondering most parts of the country continue to cause havoc with deaths and property loss, becoming its main victims. Five people have died in Kajedo County after the vehicle they were traveling in was washed away by floods. The driver and occupants of the ill-fitted van met their death a few meters from their Namanga home. The driver of the vehicle is said to have attempted to cross a submerged bridge before they were washed away by the waters. Leo tukapata ripoti kwamba watu tano walifariki. Walibebwa na hiyo pio kwa hiyo gari ya Nile Fusako. Siko na mtoto ambaye mtoto wa miaka 5 alifariki. In Garissa 624 families have been displaced after River Tana burst its banks. Kenya Red Cross Northeastern Region coordinator Mohamed Abdikadir said that his team has documented the affected families with a view of establishing their requirements. Affected areas in Garissa County include Bulakamor, Bulapunda, Bakuyu and Ziwani. Traffic along Kitale Lodwa Highway has in the meanwhile eased two days after a section of the road was blocked following mudslides triggered by heavy rains. The road was cleared after two excavators were engaged to remove the water and mud that had blocked the road. Sebit Bridge that links the road from Kitale, Lodwa and South Sudan was rendered impassable, leaving commuters stranded for over 24 hours. In Narok County, a section of leaders have cautioned residents in flood-prone areas to move to safer grounds to avoid any calamities. Those who will be affected most, of course, in floods are persons with disability. Because in case of floods, they are not able to run. Some of them will not be able to see where the floods are coming from. Some of them will not be able to hear the screams and the alerts that will be alerting people to run to higher grounds. So I want to request members of the public to assist persons with disabilities to move them to higher grounds. The Kenya Meteorological Department has warned of persistent rains in northeastern, central and western parts of the country for the next few days. According to KMD Deputy Director Samuel Mwangi, the rains will reduce in intensity early next month. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel 1.